Hello and welcome to Venice Film Festival. If you are looking at the background where I'm walking and you think, hmm, this is not Venice, let me remind you this film festival is actually happening on Lido, which is an island across from San Marco. And this is day one. I just seen three films today and now I'm on my way to see two more. So what you see, this is my press badge. Uh, all the journalists have badges like this in different colors. Usually how it works with badges is that you just go to any venue you want to see films and you just go in if you have a good badge that is, which fortunately I do. Uh, but this year due to, you know, known reasons we have to book tickets and the system is not working properly. So there's a lot of problems getting in the films you actually do want to see and report on. But you know, it's day one. Um, let's give it some time. This is the area just outside of Palazzo del Cinema. And we have coffee and sandwiches and slices of pizza and things like that. Uh, of course, you pay them, it's not for free. <laughs> I am now in front of the Palazzo del Cinema, which is one of the buildings where all the screenings are held. This is not the same building you see when you see the red carpet. The, the red carpet one is the building next to it. I will take you along tomorrow. Um, I don't know how many fans will be allowed on the red carpet this year. I'm on my way to one of the screening rooms to see a documentary on Leonard Cohen. It's about two hours long, so hopefully it will be as interesting as the man himself. I wanted to show you up there, if you see uh, this part, uh, this is where the photo call usually happens. You don't see anything from here, but you can hear it because they're yelling, all the photographers. Behind me is the side entrance to the Sala Grande where all the premieres are, where all the stars walk the red carpet. This area where I'm standing now, uh, you cannot walk through here if you do not have a badge. So this is not something that you can just walk through if you come to Lido. You need a badge or some kind of accreditation. But this is the side you usually don't see. Uh, I'm going to be 107 mother screening now. This is the one I have interviews uh, actually in two days. Uh, and the screening starts in about 10 minutes, so I have to go. Okay, this is just a quick hello. I just went to the other side of the island to have um, interviews for one of the Slovenian Italian co-productions and uh, now I'm running back to the main section of the island where all the films are screened and all the happening is going on and I have another screening there and afterwards uh, another interview and then another screening and now it's let me see now it's uh, four o'clock and I will be done with my uh, films and work uh, hopefully around midnight. What a surprise, again, we are gonna go stand in line to go see a film. I'm going to a screening now of um, Last Night in Soho, which stars um, Anya Taylor-Joy, you know, from the Netflix um, uh, chess series. So uh, let's see how it will go. See you in a few hours. It's now after the Last Night in Soho screening. I really enjoyed the film, but I can't talk about it yet because the premiere is actually in the afternoon and because we press see the films before the actual premiere, we have the embargo. So uh, I will talk about films on my Twitter account and on my Instagram account, so check it out there when I'm, of course, allowed to. Now I have about uh, six more minutes to finish this coffee and then we are off to the next screening at 11. And after that is a press conference and then it's lunch. And after that, I think I have interviews so I have to check my schedule because it's too crazy to keep everything in my head but so far all the films are good and we are having fun and what is even more important coffee is good this is the usual way we usually wait in line to get in cinemas this is not a long line usually it comes longer than where I'm standing now but this is because the screening is starting in 20 minutes, so it will get much more busy soon. Half an hour lunch break. Uh, this is a small cafeteria on the beach and it's uh, quite fast. You can get your food uh, quickly and for, uh, let's say, a reasonable price, um, <laughs> if you think about prices in Venice. And it's actually really on the beach, I'm going to show you, if I turn around. Now we have about, uh, let's say, 10 minutes uh, of free time after lunch. 
and now we are off to press conference and then afterwards is a screening and then another screening and uh, dinner not so much today but maybe maybe we'll go to a party this evening but it's you know COVID time so we'll see how it goes but uh, it's a nice place to be isn't it? Is this the first time you're doing these trips, particular letters together? Hopefully. Um, I kind of lost count of all the letters I've done. <laughs> I can imagine, yes. Beautiful. Yay. So it's even more special now. It really is. <laughs> It's uh, one of the islands if you're traveling from San Marco to Lido, where the festival is. And it's a very nice part. They have some uh, exhibitions here and restaurants, which I'm gonna go and get some coffee there. I don't want to fall in because <laughs> I'm quite close. But this is Sunset, or is the island in between Lido and uh, Venice. So this is. Lido Island, where the festival is, from uh, San Cerro. This is Sala Grande now. Buongiorno. Uh, I just understand buongiorno. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, don't worry. Can I help yeah. you find your seat? I know where it is. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. So, up here is the premier seat. And you have a, a really cool view of the screen. It's Monday now. I have been here on Lido since last Tuesday, so it's almost a week and I'm leaving soon. I usually don't stay for the whole festival in Venice because, you know, I have a job back home as well, <laughs> so I have to go and uh, do my job there. Films were actually pretty good this year. I was surprised considering, you know, what we are going through for the last uh, year and a half that uh, so many films were made. Some of them were pre-pandemic uh, time, but still, you know, good, good haul, as we say. Uh, my favorites were uh, Polo Sorrentino's Hand of God. I really enjoyed Last Night in Soho. That's with um, Anya Taylor Joy. It's a pretty, pretty cool film. Penelope Cruz, both of them. Uh, she has two films here. Also, uh, Spencer, of course. Uh, Kristen Stewart is amazing. Uh, the only problem I have uh, with this film is that you have to look at it as a fiction. Uh, don't think about what you know about Princess Diana and what happened because uh, for me some things were really wrong uh, and it bothered me. So when I kind of switched my brain uh, and started thinking about this film as a pure fiction, I really, really loved it. Uh, but Kristen is amazing, no matter if you look at it uh, biographically or, or fictionally. Back to the office it is. It has been a nice week on Lido. It has been a nice week uh, just immersing in films. And as I said, I will uh, write down uh, below some of the films that I really enjoyed. But uh, if I leave you with just one, I would highly recommend you go see Lost Illusions. It's a French film based on the Balzac's novel and it's amazing. 
so have a good day thanks for sticking with me until the end and if you like my videos if you like what you see subscribe like comment and above all have a lovely day